Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Watch. Good to see you all again. And a very special watch I'm gonna share with you right now. It is none other than a new release from Tudor. That's right guys, let's have a look at what is inside the box. We have the new Tudor Pelagos or Pelagos 39, the new 39 millimeter Pelagos is in the house. <laughs> Unbelievable. And this watch literally was just released yesterday globally. And it's amazing to get early access to this watch. As you can see, this is a new take on the Tudor Pelagos, which has been 42 millimeter and has been a little bit of a different design for many years. Consider the tool watch, the biggest kind of tool watch diver from Tudor. But with this release, they're doing something a bit different. They are almost marketing this as a tool watch, but also a lifestyle piece that you can enjoy, that you can wear on the daily, whether you're swimming or you're out in the city, hanging out, almost like an everyday piece. There's many aspects of this watch that I find very interesting. And as you can see, this bezel, it looks stunning. But let's start with the dimensions. So this is a 39 millimeter case, and we have an even thinner profile than the Black Bay 58 at 11.8 millimeters. A very good lug to lug here, well under the typical 50 millimeters you see from the Pelagos, 47 millimeters. And a fully titanium, grade two titanium, bracelet and case. But what are the things that are different from this Pelagos 39 millimeter that you need to know about? Quite a few things. And if you've used the Pelagos FXD, you will see that they've done something similar with the Rehot on this version. Gone is that kind of much more significant Rehot from the regular Pelagos. And you can also see what's different on the dial. The loom has changed. We now have these loom blocks that look similar to the ones we had on the Black Bay Pro. Let's zoom in there real quick. There you see them, they're just little blocks of loom, ceramic loom, and they look stunning. And there you see also the sunburst finish on the dial. It's very subtle. You won't see it from, from every angle, but definitely in strong lighting, you will notice it. The other aspect of this that is very different is the bezel. They've done this sunburst, and I gotta say, it's got this very almost sleek, sophisticated look, quite a bit shinier than I expected it to be. For the moment that I initially saw this watch, I thought I was looking at a no-date Submariner. That's kind of the vibe that you get from this piece. And the other thing that we notice, let's zoom in again, is that red Pelagos, that is not something we've seen before. And it evokes, you know, the Sea Dweller with that vintage red printing. I think this is the nice mix of a vintage look along with a modern look. I like that they haven't used Fotina on this watch. And let's go ahead and put it on the wrist. I'm very excited to try this one out. And I've owned uh, Tudors before, the 58. I've owned the Black Bay GMT. That is actually really nice on the wrist. And I thought it was gonna be a bit smaller, but there you can see it. It fills up the wrist really well. And that is a nice look. That is a really nice look. I'm loving this watch so far. You can see there's some AR coating as well. Guys, this is a lot more flashy than I expected it to be. And that's a positive thing because, you know, the Pelagos has always been the tool watch of Tudor, but I think they've done something mixing lifestyle with, you know, the tool watch nature of this family. And I think they've come up with something really neat here that I think a lot of people are gonna love. Now let's have a look at the bracelet because that is another area where we have some changes. So gone is the Pelagos clasp, you know, the one that would allow for that adjustment. And in its place, we now have the T-Fit adjustment system. There you can see it moving in and out, it's just, you lift it up and you move it, there we go. And you also can see the diver's extension, which push, there we go. There's the diver's extension on this watch. In case you are actually one of the few who is using this as an actual tool watch. <laughs> Otherwise, is this really a tool watch or is this a lifestyle watch? I think it's really more of a lifestyle piece. And you can just tell from the looks especially the dial and the bezel. The Tudor is going for something very different with this Pelagos 39. The marketing is definitely geared towards a unisex crowd. So if women and men can both wear this, and I gotta say, I think they've nailed it. Now, of course, the movement, we have the very trusty MT5400. 
which is the same movement you have in the Black Bay 58, 70 hours power reserve, and good anti-magnetism, shock protection. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this watch. A lot better than I expected, and being a Tudor FXD lover, I thought this would be a little bit too flashy, a little bit too small for my liking, but we have a winner here, guys, with this Tudor Pelagos 39. But hit me up in the comments, guys. What are your thoughts on this Pelagos 39? And oh, one last thing I will show you is the rubber strap that does come included. You do get a complimentary rubber strap with this watch. There you see it. You also even get an extended rubber strap in case you are actually using this with a wetsuit. So you can really change it up, change the whole look of this watch. So that is very exciting, guys. The Tudor Pelagos 39. I think it's a winner, but hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on this one? I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Watch, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon for future updates. Very cool, guys, and amazing to be able to show this one to you here on day two of the release of this Pelagos 39. Stay tuned for more great content here on the channel. And Frankie Watch says, time's up. Have a good one. That is really nice, guys. I think you will be impressed. Oh yeah.